Hello friends, welcome to another educational video in the field of electricity. In this video, I am going to teach you star and delta connections in three-phase electric motors. This tutorial is very useful and all electricians should know it. Please stay with me. Each three-phase electric motor contains three coils. Each coil has two heads, so there are six heads for three coils which you can see in the picture. The beginning and end of the wire of the first coil are named U1 and U2. For the second coil, it's V1 and V2. And for the third coil, it's W1 and W2. Three-phase electric motors can be terminated by two methods. The first step is the star connection. In this method, we connect the end of the all coils together. For this, we use a metal blade and connect them in this way. Now, to start the electric motor, we connect the three-phase electricity to the other three ends. If these three coils are inside the electric motor and the star connection is made, the coils are connected in this way. And now three-phase electricity is connected to this. In this case, there is a zero point between the connection point, which means that this point has the role of neutral, and therefore the voltage between the two ends of the coil will be 220 volts. The second method is the delta connection. In this method, the beginning and the end of the coil are connected one after the other. For this, the metal blades should be placed in this way. And to start the electric motor, we connect the three-phase electricity to these parts. This connection is done in the coils like this. and three-phase electricity are connected to these points, as you can see in the picture. In this case, the voltage between the coils is equal to the three-phase electricity voltage, which is 380 volts. So the power of the motor in delta connection is more than in the star connection. This video is finished. If you like the video, please press the like and subscribe button. Goodbye.